many days since I've seen the sun Sitting in the rain in the Seattle area Wondering if my bones will ever be warm Thousand more bucks yet I'm out that door, yeah I can't take it Saving up just to get away I feel like the ten years I've been here I want to stay Looking around I can't find a single thrill Maybe it's time that I start all over again And I know a place that I can go Where I can find that call my own It's where the sun is always shining for you guys was a big year you guys had sold out shows you released your EP stone which is excellent everyone should go and listen to it uh, what would you say is the high point of the year for you probably the release yeah the release party was pretty awesome it was at the triple door mm. January 16th was my birthday it's just awesome really Perfect. great show great way to start the year off that's awesome yeah yeah Sweet, yeah. Uh, the sold out shows sounded fun was that one of them yes we had a series of them we we were fortunate to play with a lot of great bands this last year. Um, we played Numos, which was sold out with The Dip, Badass. The True Loves. And then what was the other one we did? Uh, we played in Portland at the Douglas Fir Lounge. Yeah. With Dirty awesome. Revival. Oh, the Secret Show was sold out, too. Secret Show. Uh -huh. um, we played The Tractor in November. with uh, That Polar was Rhythmics. sold out, too. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like you guys are killing it. Um, coming up is another big show, uh, is the Showbox. You guys are playing pretty sh pretty soon. How are you guys feeling about that one? 
Uh, stoked. I mean, so show excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow, it's a it's, huge It's a mediocre place, but I mean, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah, it's <laughs> It'll be okay. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm just excited because it's like the last stage that Prince played on when he was in Seattle last time. So I'm like going to kiss the stage, maybe pray and... I don't know, cry a little bit. <laughs> Set up a little altar <laughs> in the back, Set up burn all- some <laughs> sage, and Just rest play in Purple peace. Rain on re- my way, no, and they let me alone while I waited so patiently yeah. Never think I will work so out Cause in due time, well I know there's always true But right now I'm through with all this doubt could play with anybody this year anybody in the world alive or dead who would you want to play with I mean maybe you just answered it Prince I don't know <laughs> uh, Alabama Shakes Alabama Shakes <laughs> yes. would that be like the dream gig to be able to play with them yeah I had like a dream a few months ago and it was very it was a stressful dream but it was like we got this gig opening for Alabama Shakes and like I left something in the car and I couldn't get back to the stage and they were playing and I was like oh my god I'm missing my set <laughs> and then I got to the front of the stage and Brittany Howard like threw like a giant pair of granny panties at my face and that was the end of the dream <laughs> <laughs> that's an awesome dream I know so but I feel did you wake hearing. up with the panties on your face <laughs> I woke up being I just remember being like she threw her panties at my face and I was so excited so I felt like it's meant to be maybe sometime in my life <laughs> I think it's definitely meant to be I think you guys would be a great fit with them oh yeah, yeah that'd be, be a fun awesome. show and then maybe like Ray LaMontagne would be a dream for me I guess yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know what, do you, what about you guys <laughs> swear 
Share? <laughs> Slayer. Slayer. <laughs> Slayer. <laughs> Sla- a split bill Slayer with Slayer share. and Share. Yeah, yeah. They, would, they would definitely have to open with for us, though. I mean, like, I, I don't know they really we... That's awesome. <laughs> I love those answers. Thank you, guys. Oh, man. But I think that I'm gonna be Well, I keep doing the same things Well, I gotta stop myself But every morning I wake up To hoping something could shake up This fire in my heart I Take my dreams off the shelf But every time I get back in my car, I'm gonna work with the chappies. But everything in life seems like it's hard, yeah. You know that's why I say some shit, but I didn't do This mediocre job is getting the best of me I try to live my life, yet everyone testing me But I don't know what's wrong, but I know that at the same vibe I'm working all my life, it's gonna be the death of me Well, but every time I try to do something different I'm trying to sit back here yeah. And I'm making all this money for a living Feel more drawn towards blues, more drawn towards soul, or a different genre altogether. I I feel I don't know. I guess I I feel like I'm rooted in blues, but I grew up with a lot of soul. Listen to a lot of soul, and uh, I don't know. I'm really inspired by so many different genres. Yeah. But I kind of you know, in my mind's eye, I don't really think of my music in a genre. I had to make one up. I called my I call my music alternative soul because I feel like I don't really fit within the parameters of like rock, folk, blues, you know. I think my music kind of incorporates all that. So I just thought maybe if I make something different, maybe that would I don't know, maybe it would captivate that, but I don't know. Does it alternative soul does that feel right? <laughs> I think I like everybody's trying to ask like that that's the number one go-to question that a lot of people want to ask like what kind of music do you play and so it's good to have something to say to someone um, mm-hmm. but I think part of the beauty of it is that we can draw from a lot of different genres and we have some tunes that are more folky mm-hmm. and some that are more like heavy rock and roll and a whole range between them yeah yeah um, Okay. That's that's the hardest thing though. It's like you, you have to fall into a genre to be marketable because if you, 
create a genre like alternative soul. I'm actually feel when I started that, I I feel like I invented alternative soul. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I did, but I feel like I did. And I remember when I was looking it up, and I was like, there wasn't many many artists that would fall in that category. But now, in 2018, I can think of so many bands that would be considered alternative soul, from like Gary Clark Jr. to Alabama Shakes, like people that have black tones or not not black tones. Well, I guess. Uh, I guess black they're more rock. rock. They're more, yeah. <laughs> That's a local more band. Rock, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Black Keys. Black you know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah, kind yeah. of like this. It's they're mixing all these different genres, and therefore they they fit in different places. You know, but I don't know. It, it, you have to be marketable, but you don't want to like kill a dead horse by being like I'm a blues band. You know, I don't want to just be in a box. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. This has been Whitney Monjay on Sonic Sofa. Go see them at the sunset on 420, if you know what I mean. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs>